The last time I was in Japan, I happened to bump into the headquarters of Honda on the eve of the 2019 Tokyo Auto Show with something a little bit more planned. I was able to visit the Nissan World Headquarters in Yokohama to see the unveiling of its Leaf Nismo RC race car and Formula E race car. In its freshman effort, the Nissan Formula E team did extraordinarily well. We were definitely nervous at the beginning of the year. We, we came out with a very innovative package and we honestly struggled at the beginning, but by mid-season we were finding our pace and really optimizing our, our program. And I really honestly say at the end of the year, we were pleasantly surprised to finish second in the championship with Seb uh, and the team just having a crystal clear focus on what we wanted to achieve, never giving up and uh, just having a great overall year. I don't cover racing much, but it's important to look at what the automakers are doing because, you know, the old saying, race on Sunday, sell on Monday. For Nissan, really, Formula E is a very unique opportunity because it combines part of what our vision is around electric mobility and Nissan intelligent mobility, but it brings it right down into the city centers, right into the heart of where electric vehicles have the greatest usage and the greatest impact. So for us, racing in city centers around the world is really an opportunity to highlight the benefits that driving electric vehicles on the road would have for us globally. For us, it's actually both ways. We talk about our history, our entry into the Formula E as a road to track story and then a track to road story because we were able to use more than eight years of development of the LEAF on the road to then inform us about what we wanted to do on the racetrack. But because we drive on city centers around the world, a lot of that data was very useful for us. But then what we learn on the track and the level that we push ourselves to on the track helps refine really the control systems around which we can then use in production cars. And that really centers around energy management because that's the heart of what an electric vehicle is, is about. The LEAF RC is hardly stock. With two 120 kilowatt electric motors, it's all wheel drive and delivers 478 pound feet of torque. It's not remotely close to what you can buy. Part of the reason I'm doing this video is to show you the Nissan headquarters in Yokohama. It's part office building, part museum, and the public can come here to see the rotating display of cars and buy stuff at the gift shop. This is a beautiful example of the fourth generation skyline, don't you think? It's a 1974. This is a Datsun 14 Roadster. It was built in 1935. If you look closely at the hood ornament, it looks a lot like a Jaguar Leaper, but it's actually a rabbit. At the time that it was built, Nissan as a company was only two years old. This one, the Silvia, is a 1966 model. Did you know that Silvia was a Greek goddess? I'll admit I didn't know that until just now. There were very few of these made annually because of the seamless bodywork. There are all sorts of vehicles on display and enthusiasts could spend the better part of a day here. I especially like the powertrain cutaway of the GTR. There are all sorts of museums and all sorts of art. Consider this modern sculpture. And while we're here, Nissan showed off plans for its all new visitor center. Uh, it sort of looks like automotive Disneyland. So that's how I spent my day on the eve of the Tokyo Auto Show. Stay tuned for more videos in the next few days. In Japan, I'm Tom Volk.